And now here at 530, the latest in a fight over the state teachers pension fund. Thanks for watching. I'm Damon Maloney. And I'm Tessa Tiro in for Katie Eusen, who is on assignment. So for months, we've been telling you about the drama surrounding the fund and the administration of it. And for the very first time here, we are hearing from Attorney General Dave Yost about a controversial lawsuit that he filed over it. Our Morgan Trow brought you all of the developments and spoke with Dave Yost today. We want to know what the truth is. Billions of educators' dollars are on the line. We want to protect the teachers. Ohio State teachers' retirement system is in chaos. Back in May, Attorney General Dave Yost filed a lawsuit to remove STRS Chair Rudy Fichtenbaum and Reform Leader Wade Steen from the board. Anytime there's an allegation that um, a public contract is being steered in a particular direction, uh, that's concerning. Uh, it's not only illegal, um, but it points to a larger corruption. We caught Yost and asked him questions about his lawsuit, one that accuses the board members of contract steering 70% of STRS assets to QED, a company that he says has backdoor ties to both board members. Governor Mike DeWine is also concerned because the firm has no track record and no clients. It's about protecting the assets and the investments that are represented by all these teachers' retirement accounts. Yost has filed eight subpoenas for his case, focusing on QED. The firm is run by former Ohio Deputy Treasurer Seth Metcalf, who denies all allegations. He gave us a statement saying, QED has always followed the letter and spirit of the law and will fully comply with the subpoena. This fight is really about whether the teachers can take back control of their money from STRS staff and is not about QED's index-based proposal. Some educators known as reformers are taking Metcalf's side. Retired teacher Robin Rayfield claims that Yost doesn't truly care about protecting educators. Um, Attorney General and governor are bullies and they're trying to take away the democratically elected majority. Reformers have helped to elect board members who want to change the investment structure. Rayfield also believes Yost is only getting involved for political gain since he filed the lawsuit before speaking to QED. A world where Yost responds to DeWine and DeWine is trying to protect the pipeline of money from Wall Street back to Ohio's politics. Uh, it makes sense. Yost says he doesn't care what financial structure the board chooses. He just wants a clean contracting process. I can go to court and seek to remove somebody that I think may not be living up to their fiduciary duty. All of this, however it turns out, is going to make their retirement more secure. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.